Valentine Day reading at the East End Theater. New York. New York City. February 14th, Sunday, 1965. The last words of a great American, Arthur Dutch Schultz, known simply as the Dutchman, gunned down by Charlie Workman in the Palace Bar on Newark's Broad Street, October 23rd, 1935, died 24 hours later, Friday. Introducing the Dutchman. Don't make no full moves. What have you done with him? Thirty families are homeless in fires. Please set the dead man Thomas Walton of 371 West 116th Street. Apparently touched off with... John, please. Oh, you... well, I wished I knew. Back with We're allowed to return later. Hey, I want to pay. Let them leave me alone. Not so fortunate with the residents of three six-family, three-story frame buildings at 33, 35, and 37 Hinsdale Street in the East New York section. <laughs> alarm fire. Police said it was done. You get ahead with the dot dash system. Didn't I speak that time last night? Whose number is that in your pocketbook, Bill? 13780. The chimney sweeps take to the sword. Evening customers of McGinnis Restaurant at Broadway and 48th Street got their dinner free last night, or at least as much of it as the <laughs> accumulated grease in the kitchen exhaust ducts had caught fire, and a reserve decision. Please, please. Henry and Frankie, with a fire. Come on, open the soap ducats. There were no injuries, damage was trifling, and partial service was resumed about an hour later. Yeah, but how it could be traced. He changed for the worse. Please look out. December 23rd. Will fit what I say. Sure, who cares when you are through? How do you know this? Four western states today flooding large areas, endangering scores of cities and towns and causes of damage. Six persons have died and three rescuers were missing. A storm that forced at least 5,000 persons to flee. Look out for Jimmy Valentine, for he is an old pal of mine. Come on, come on, Jim. A sixth army spokesman. I'm a pretty good pretzler. I even got it from the department. Sir, please stop it. Total 23. Fire! Factory that he was nowhere near. It smoldered. But it's now total 23. Apartment blast kills 20. Okay, okay, I'm all through. Can't do another thing. 23 are killed, but I was in the toilet, and when I reached, the, the boy came at me and wiped right off the ground. The building put up in 1957 was part of the LaSalle Heights apartment. 700 families were living in the development. All the buildings in the area were vacated while firemen fought the flames. Witnesses said the blast lifted the roof high. It crashed into by the explosion. I know who they are. They are French people. Factory that he was nowhere near.
and the student was one of the first at the scene. He helped to pull survivors from the wreckage. The Sal Fire Sergeant Roger Lavalle rescued a woman in trouble in a sub-basement apartment. He struggled even after the ceiling collapsed on him. Premier Lesage, viewing the rescue work, said, I didn't realize it was such a disaster until I saw with my own eyes what I saw. Twenty-three kills. If we want, you ain't got nothing on him, but we got it on his helper. Not clear. We killed today in a massive roof-lifting explosion. Apartment block in suburban LaSalle. Residents in the area said they noticed the heavy, sweet taste and smell of natural gas before the blast wrecked the 40 apartment at St. Clement and Bergevine Streets. But I am dying. Open this up and break it so I can touch you. And please pull for me. How many good... ...to worker. I was in the bathroom and the next thing I knew there was a sound... ...fell in on me, he said. 17 died, 14 from two families when pipeline explodes. Natchitoches, Louisiana, March 4. 17 lives were consumed in a great gush of fire. 2,000, come on, get some money in that treasury. We need it. Cowboy in one of the seven days a week fight. Killed, eight were from one family and six were from another. The heat over a 10-acre area was so intense that cars and three trucks into shapeless mounds of metal. The blast erupted 150 yards behind a row of frame houses just across the highway from the country club. It <laughs> instrumental in letting us know they are Englishmen and they are a type and I don't know who is best. They are us. A roar that sounded like a low flying jet. Please let me get in and eat. 30 minutes. The, war, the roar was from a flat, hundred feet high. As transmission company technicians shut off the high force flow of gas spewing from the 30 inch pipeline under 700 and The pipeline is part of it. No, no, it is no. It is confused and it says no. Kim, did you hear me? Right under about six feet of dirt. The cause of the explosion was not determined. Please don't ask me to go there. I don't know. City, Kansas. Five officials of a Santa Fe Springs, California, Mobile Homes firm were killed today when their plane crashed during a heavy snowstorm. The victims were identified as a name not clear. The president of the Biltmore Mobile Homes Corporation. That man was nowhere near. <clears throat> then, Henry, Henry, Frankie, you didn't meet him. You didn't even meet me. <laughs> Twin engine plane carrying a crew of two and one passenger crashed and burned today in a blood. I still don't want him in the path. It is no use to stage a riot. Scudder, vice president of the Protecto Wrap Company, Denver, Colorado, the passenger, was found several yards from the wreckage and taken to Phillipsburg State Hospital, suffering wrist and head injuries. <laughs> Head of Denver and the co-pilot, John, please. <laughs> resident. Two Molotov cocktails were thrown on the front porch of her home. Miami, Florida, March 5th. But one of the bottles of gasoline exploded, setting fire. Benjamin, exactly. The sidewalk was in trouble and the bears were in trouble, and I broke it up, and those dirty rats have tuned in. Crashed into a graveyard of obsolete and abandoned aircraft. 47. Please help me get out.
were not available for comment.